Yes, welcome to this Tuesday live streaming. Mayoi, may God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you on this day today, our second edition, our second streaming. I would want you to invite everyone, make everyone know that we are now live. Send the link, speak to everyone, alert everyone. My topic today is about courtship. My topic today is about affairs. My topic today, I want to speak about your love life. Guide you, make sure that I guide you as a father, guide you as a friend, guide you as a guiding. So, I want you to tell others that today we're going to go a bit deep and speak of different things that we survive on as youth. Before you invite everyone, I want to invite you if you are close to Harare or we are in Harare. On Friday evening, I'm inviting you to Yada Hotel for a teaching live meeting to get to know one another from 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and also a movie evening. We want to watch movie from 6 p.m., and you have past seven, then we go home. Just you and the team of the U.S. that is here, just to bring a difference for you to eat popcorn with us and enjoy our Friday. So Friday, we are inviting you for a Friday evening movie. But all the same, I want to welcome all the U.S. that are watching us from all over the world. You have joined us live. You are streaming live from Zimbabwe, and you are linked only on your Facebook today, and I want you to invite others. I want you to tell others, I want you to tell everyone that we are now live, and we'll be streaming today on this live, um, your Facebook page only. So I want to give you a short break, one minute, two minutes break, so that you can invite others to come live, and I greet you, and I love you. God bless you. I'll be back in one minute. <music> I've asked you to, to invite others 
that they can join us on this live streaming, which we are doing only on your Facebook. And we're beaming live from Harare, Zimbabwe, and I welcome all the youth of innovation. First of all, in the first small part, I invited people to come and join us on Friday at Yada Hotel for a movie evening. We start by a small teaching around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, then we go into a movie evening. All of those that are surrounding Harare, if you can be part of us, be part of us. Visitors, of course, that will be part of it. Uh, I, will, I will come to it. May God bless you to that effect. Let me start by announcement again. On Saturday, we are going to have a small training uh, which, are going to, which, which the Youth of Innovation have structured for women of valor. We are going to be training things about marketing. So a lot of women of valor are coming under the guidance of uh, me, of course, but it's a program that is a connection between women of valor and youth of innovation. I announced it on the training, so please, you're welcome. Thursday, I'll be throwing a live service for all cell groups. I encourage all youth to attend cell groups, go and uh, make your leadership them, go and speak to people there, go and guide, be a leader of some, of some sort. So Thursday, there'll be a live. So in the interim, there's no live service, uh, there's no service on Wednesday at church or a Friday service at church. I only have this Tuesday service, which I'm coming and teaching you as youth, and Wednesday, on Thursday, which I'm coming for cell groups. Then we meet on, on Sunday. I announced on Sunday that on the 29th, 30, 31, 1 and 2, I'll be having some trips all over, Zim, all over South Africa, Botswana as well. Um, 29 is... is, is, is uh, Blawayo, and I said I want every youth to be wearing a T-shirt on that day, women of valor as well as the men with power. And on the, on the 30th, I'll be in Francistown. Gomandio and Dio, I want you to be in such uh, attire as well. And uh, 30th, um, 30, 31st, I'll be in Gaberon. Then one, I'll be in Pretoria. Two, I'll be in Cape Town. And three, to see the visitors also in Pretoria, our first guest house. Uh, this year. And then we have uh, the 7th of February, we are going to have a business seminar. Yes, a business seminar. I'm very happy with the youth that are requesting for a special rate on this seminar. Yes, if you contact us on that number that I gave you and say I'm a youth, I want to have a special rate on the business seminar where I'll be teaching modern business tactics. What is an online shop? How do you operate it? And we are going to be having practicals on opening such things as online shops. What is drop shipping? What is drop service? I'll be teaching people about modern business tactics, which can make you to run your business in your house and yet operating in America. There are ways like that this time. So the purpose of the business that is coming is to modernize your type of business that you, do, that you can also move with time. How do you create a Facebook page advert? How do you create um, um, an Instagram page advert, which cannot be blocked by Instagram nor Facebook? How do you make money whilst you have not holding any stock in your hands? What is a Shopify? What is drop shipping? What is drop service? What can you do with the knowledge that you have in English to save those countries that do not speak English? So I want to teach a lot on that to, to bring your business into the modern world. So 7th February going on uh, to the, I mean, 10th or 11th February, I'll be teaching specifically on business. So it's a business seminar and other business tactics. It means those that came in BDC, I want you there. Those that came on the CEO mind, I want you there. Those that were part of the engulfed weekend, those that are mentally indirect, I want you to be part of that business weekend. So um, that, that is just a bit of announcement. As you invite others, uh, which are going to be speaking, and I say the topic of today is an issue about love, about um, affairs. I want to talk to you, I want to relate with you. I want to know what you are facing in your affair, and I want to guide you, and I want to help you, and what to look into when you are looking for a man or you are looking for a woman to marry. That is very, very important. Um, so that will be my main topic today, is what I'll be discussing with you. And um, I won't have a break. I'll go straight into it, and I, 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 I want to teach you about it. I want to express about it so that you understand what, um, um, what, what love is. So first of all, what is love? How do you, how, how do you describe love? Some term it as a, as a feeling. Some say it is that um, uh, desire to be with somebody, to talk to somebody, to love, to, to love with somebody. 
So we've got, we've got different types of love. Of course, we've got the common agape love, which is the love of Christ-like, which is no uh, sexual feelings or um, other deep feelings like touching feelings, but it's love for care, love to assist, love to, to give. So we, we group it as um, agape love. But today, what I want to teach about, I want to teach you about the love of feelings, the love of feelings which may lead into marriage or a courtship or whatever you are heading on to, which one must be very careful about. Why? If you check those that engage into love, those that engage into love, check very carefully, we get to be married and we live our larger life in marriage than single. We live our larger, our larger life in marriage than single. That alone must give you a serious warning. You can't marry a second best. You can't marry a second option. You need to marry that who you cannot live without. Not the one that you can live with. There's a huge difference. That one who you cannot live without is supposed to become your husband or your wife. I gave a teaching in church at some point, and I said, when it comes to love, there is a serious misunderstanding of what a man is and what a woman is. The moment you don't understand what a man is and what a woman is, it means whatever affair you are in is fake. You are meeting in love, but there's no reality which made you to be in agreement. What is a man? What is a woman? In the basis of description, I want to say this in flat. A man should be a cultivator, and a woman should be an incubator. A man is the one who has strong shoulders. A man is the one who is the hard worker. A man is the one who is supposed to be doing the toughest. And the woman is supposed to be cultivating. That is the former original setup of an affair and marriage. I don't know. You are watching me live. I want you to throw your comments. I want you to speak to me. I'm enjoying, I see that one who is following me from China, well done. I see that one also who is following from Man Darwin. Oh, that one is following from Johannesburg, uh, Francis Town as well, well done. Harare, you are all following me live. My best statement for now, before I go deep, I say it, a man is created to become a cultivator, and a woman is created to become an incubator. An incubator is that which multiplies. A cultivator is that which plants. So a woman in nature, she multiplies everything. Everything that you give her, she multiplies. If you give her a sperm, she'll give her a child. If you give her vegetables, she'll give you a meal. If you also give her pain, she'll give you tons of pain back. She, 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 she multiplies everything. She's an incubator. That's the nature of a woman. So one must know that. If you want to live a life and a woman in pain, Marry a man who is not a cultivator. I tell you, you may enjoy the kisses now, you may enjoy the hugs now, but if it's not a cultivator, it will frustrate you in a very short space of time. I would want you to look into that and say, is my boyfriend a cultivator? Is he one who is going to take care of me? You see, I know the formation of the world right now. Most women are now hard workers. They have become cultivators. It is good. It is what is, it is now. But that's not the best setup. The best setup is you must be incubating whatever is cultivating. If that setup is like that, I tell you it is very easy to submit. Why do I take out the word submission? Every man, the poor, the rich, the dark and the light, the tall and the short, the fat, and whoever you may think about, there is an ego inside them which needs to be respected. Every man interprets respect as love. With or without, they want to be respected. That's how they were created. So it is very easy to respect a cultivator, and it's very difficult to respect that one who's not doing anything. So my question is to you, the boyfriend you are in love with, is he a cultivator or just somebody who is a man, 
Check on that. Check on that. I'm going to come back in two minutes and start to respond to questions as I go deep. And my topic is very simple. I want to speak about love today. And I want to guide you. Is he a cultivator or you are just in love with a man? I'm on the side of the women right now. Then I'll speak on the side of the men. And then we see how we can come up with a good man or a good girl that can become your wife. God bless you. I wait for your questions. I'll come back in exactly three minutes. God bless you. As I mentioned, I told you, um, the main topic is about love, affairs, speaking about a man and speaking about a woman, so that we see the best decision that we can do. We are youth. Um, it feels and it seems that to most women, including men, it, it seems like it's the greatest achievement to, to, be, to, be, to be married. Yeah? It feels so. It seems so. But um, out of what I'm seeing in ministry and what I've been counseling people, trust me, those that are inside marriages wish to go out, and those that are out wish to get in. This is the nature. Why? Because there's a misunderstanding in affairs. People do not know who they need, who they need. Every marriage is my tip today. Every marriage is centered on two things. Submission and attention. Submission and attention. Women cry for attention. Men do cry for submission. And if these two things are not created, 
every relationship will shake or every marriage will shake. Let me speak about submission. First of all, my tip to you, if you respect any man, if you respect your husband, he will give you all. That's what they look for. Dominion inside them. And you don't respect because there's something to respect. Although I teach men that create a reason for respect. But you respect because you have to respect. It's a nature of a setup of a good relationship. It brings forth life in your relationship. Okay? When it also comes to men, you attend because you have to. If attention lacks, there's a serious gap that it's created in the women. And whatever that fuels that gap is what they will become. If divorce fuels the gap because there's no attention, a woman can divorce you for nothing. You see? So I'm teaching you as a youth that don't go in this if you're not ready to give an attention. That's why if you read your Bible very carefully when it speaks about men of God, it actually says it is a choice to marry when you're a man of God because of the pressure that you need to attend to other things. Because women look for attention. So what makes every relationship to stand is submission and attention. If a girl can't submit and if a man can't attend, they cannot last any moment. They cannot last any long. Okay? As a man, create that which can make the woman submit. What do you do for a, as a woman? Make sure that you go in his path. Is a man go in his path such that he can create an opportunity for him to attend to you. What do I mean by saying go in his path? The moment you become an incubator, as I have taught you, the moment you listen to his visions, either little or big, and you believe in them, it means they can share with you the pressure and they can share with you the joy. The moment he's sharing with you the joy and the pressure, it then means he's attending to you. Because your creation as man and woman is different. The moment there is attention, a woman is attracted to that. And whatever is attending to her fills her head. That's the greatest thing. That's the nature of people. That's how they are. That's why I said to you as youth, understand it, train it. And as you train it, you shall see how we will become. I want you to become a person who understands what an affair is. Right. The first part I spoke about incubators. And I think your question is, where do I find an incubator? Where do I find an excavator, um, a cultivator? Listen to me. The type of man you are looking for is found, but you have to position yourself to where they are. Don't expect things to happen on their own. Every growth is intentional, as I always say every time. Position yourself for them to locate you. What do I mean by saying position yourself? For example, I have announced and I've said, Friday, let's meet youth at the other hotel for a movie evening. Other youth are coming there. Not all the elders are not coming. So, that, so come and watch a movie. Greet somebody. How are you? How are you? How are you? See, study them. Before you say yes or before you, you go for them, look if they're surely a cultivator. Listen to their life story. You see, when we're talking about a cultivator, we're not talking about what a person is driving them, what they're driving right now. We're to, we look at what drives them. What does that mean when I say you look at what drives them? A person may be driving a car today, but them not being a cultivator. What a person is today is not what they are tomorrow. So I want you to look at the vision, what they carry inside. It only comes in communication. That's why it is very vital to take a bit of time. Hear me, children. Take a bit of time before you say, I do. One may say, I know they may not wait, prophet, but it's better for you to be sure than to regret later. Any man who does not have money is an angry man. Man is looked, you go after it, and you become a cultivator in nature. As well as you men, when you propose this woman, it's not only about beauty. No, 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 no. It's not about beauty. No. 
It is the beauty with brains which matters the most. If the beauty is accompanied with brains, it means you found an incubator. I'm talking of a person who can look at your vision and increase it as well for your own growth. If that is lacking and you go for a general person, I tell you frustration will creep in and it will attack you and it will destroy you. That's the topic today. I'm going to go deep in it, analyze it more. But I've got a few questions. When Jesse Tolle is saying, how do I get 40 laws of success? Obvious. Is if we go to, the, if we go to, 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 to church, you, you'll be able to get one. And also, as I'm doing these trips that I'm going to be doing, you'll get these books. How do I get your cup mug? Okay, like this one. Um, yes, um, if you come on Friday, I'll give you this one. When Jesse Tolle, if you are in Zimbabwe, I don't know if you're in Zimbabwe. James Tinashe, hello, daddy. Let's screen business. I, I will not screen. The, uh, she's saying, hello, daddy. Will you screen the business seminar live on Facebook? No. We don't do those seminars live on Facebook. But the reason that I would want people to come because of the practicals and also analyzing whatever we're doing. So the business seminar will not be screened live. Of course, I'm going to offer you some special rights as youth. That is very key. Now, now I've got a question. Are you in a relationship? Are you in a relationship? Is your woman an incubator? Is your guy a cultivator? If not, what's next? What time do you take before you get married with a guy? I want you to ask yourself those questions. And I want you to answer me on your Facebook screen. Let's have a conversation. Let's speak about it. What time do you do sex? What, 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 when, when will you have sex with your guy? Is it now or after marriage? I want to answer you all those things so that I can guide you. And how do you relate with the relatives of your men or your, or your girl? All those questions need to be answered today before we close this live service. So I'll take a short break again so that I can have access of more questions and I'll be answering them. God bless you. Please invite others. Invite others. Let's solve all these issues. Let me answer you of all your worries. Invite others. I'm, I'm, I'm back on live, and I've got 10 very much interesting questions. I think the program is becoming interesting now. I'll start with Kero Mashamba, who, who, who said, um, I, don't, I don't want to date. Is it a demon? The chances that it is, it is a demon are 90%. 90% to, to 98%. Um, we were created for, for partnership. We were created for, for friends, for courtship. It's very, very key to understand that. If you look in the creation of the, Old, of, of the Old Testament, when God created a human being, he gave him all animals, all animals to make them friends. But the man could not find any satisfaction in any animal. 
then you've created a woman. Take note of this, a woman. Not another man, but a woman. That's why you see gayism and the lesbianism is the highest level of worshiping the devil. Don't entertain any thought of lesbianism. Don't entertain any thought of gayism. It is the highest level of Ashura Paul, the Jezebel spirit of worshiping the devil. Don't entertain that. It's an evil thought. So if you feel like something is wrong in, in trying to admire the opposite sex, if something is wrong in you, it means you need deliverance. One must get a relationship and one must get married. Okay? Very, very, very key. But marriage, marriage comes because of wisdom, not because of beauty. You need to position yourself for marriage. It is an issue of how you relate with your friends, how you relate with the relatives, how you speak about yourself. No man is ready to marry that one who is snobbish, that one who doesn't want to work, that one who speaks negative all the time on his visions. Every man wants to feel like he's a king to then propose for marriage. That is very, very vital. You should take note of that. Every man wants to feel like a king to propose for marriage. So look into that. Do you speak and do you position yourself to then indicate that I am coming and I'm bringing freedom in your life? If you are in a relationship and you are bringing chaos, the guy will not go after you. It's the nature of men. They don't want chaos, they want peace because they're always fighting internally. It's a very important point. Every man internalized. That's how they are. That's the nature of men. They internalize. They, they, they think within. Every woman externalizes. So if you are a woman and you do not know that a man internalizes and you externalize, you then always argue. This always, uh, then this comes with the question um, from Nyasha Tinizai, who said, Prophet, what causes women to be always angry over small matters? The biggest reason why women are always angry over small matters is because, number one, they don't understand men. When a woman says something, they say it loud. And when they want to communicate anything, they communicate with excellent words. When they tell to a man, they think a man is ignoring because they don't understand the nature of a man. That a man may be remembering, but in quietness. Was a man internalized and a woman externalized. So a woman is looking for another woman in a man which causes a quarrel. If a woman understands what a man is, and a man understands what a woman is, there's never a quarrel. If you see any woman speaking, they're just exercising what they are. So if you've decided to get married, if you've decided to get into a relationship, expect a talking machine. That's the nature. That's what they are. That's how they were created. It's an externalizing being. A man is an internalizing being. Okay, so you then build your own woman. You then build your own man for an understanding. I hope, I hope you are hearing what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say. You look when women are crying, they hold their mouth, and when men are crying, they hold their eyes. There's a, there's a difference in creation. That's how they are. That's how men were created, and that's how women were created. So the quarrels come because there's no understanding. A woman is in a relationship; is she's expecting that man to react exactly. As she does, yet she's in love with an opposite sex. So quarrels will never end unless there's an, an, an understanding. Okay? Uh, there's a question. Prophet, how do you know that this is a cultivator? Knowing a man, how he is, is never done when you're already in love. You can't see anything when you're in love. Moreover, to every girl. That's why if your sister, if your friend is in a wrong relationship, if you tell them, drop this, they would rather drop you than the relationship. No woman can see anything in a, in a relationship. If they are already in love, they can't see a thing. So to see the truth of any man, try to do it whilst you are still in the friendship zone, before you fall. For if you fall in love, you can't even see all his mistakes or whatever he is. So before you fall in love, try and see what he is and what you see is what he is when you are not yet in love. When you're in love, you can't see a thing. Like any guy who is in love with any woman, if the guy is falling in love, the guy cannot see any mistakes of the woman. That's why if you go to your own street, 
you, you see a boy who is in love and you laugh at him and say, ah, this young man doesn't see this. It's because love covers your faces. That's how it is. So for you to see if this guy is a truly a cultivator, what do you do? In that time of friendship zone, visit him. Ask the friends. And mostly, a person is exactly as his friend. That's how it is. That's the nature of people. They relate and they showcase as their friend. That's what they are. So if you want to see how a person is, always look at their friends as well. Next question was from Rumbizai Kochera. Thank you, Father, for the YOE program. My question is, is, is it okay to be in love with a man with who is not cultivating but with a greater visions and working towards them? When I say cultivating, I'm not really speaking about a person who's already working. Well, some of the work doesn't make sense. What you want when you're in a relationship, you want to look at tomorrow than today. So the visions are key. You have to ask where he's going. Don't date a man who is going nowhere. You see, what makes you to submit? It is if he's creating a greater vision than yours. No woman can submit to a less vision. Trust me on that. Trust me. If your guy is creating a less vision than you, very soon you'll be breaking. But what brings submission is when he's carrying something huge than you inside him. It will force you to kneel down. It will force you to say thank you. Because what he's carrying is greater than you. So what we look at when I say cultivating, I'm not talking about what he's doing now. Both a person can be small now, but big tomorrow because of the visions and the thoughts and the plans that he carries. So when I speak about cultivating, I'm talking about the, what he's aspiring to become, what he's pushing to become, is what you must look at. And the action that he's doing towards to become that person must motivate you to be in a relationship. Because what brings that submission, which can make you stay long, is when he's thinking greater than you. Women are fascinated by intelligence. Women are fascinated by great visions. It is easy for them to submit to great visions. If your boy carries a less vision, he may be enjoying now, but your tomorrow is not bright. Yeah, I'm still taking questions. I'll take another small break again, and I want you to invite your other friends. I'm not really happy with the, with the, with the numbers that are live. There are few. So invite your friends, talk to them, tell them I'm live, and let's, let's do this together. God bless you. I will join you in five minutes as I take other questions.
check the details in my last segment. Um, yeah, we we'll have to close at least at 11 o'clock. Um, I, I would want to answer about 15 questions or so that have come from uh, all over the world. Uh, there's somebody who commented about this, and they said, I want it, Prophet. Yeah, when you come on Friday, um, I'll, I'll bless you with it. Um, so whoever it is who spoke on Facebook and said, man of God, I, I, want, I want this. So I'll, I'll give you on Friday. When, when you come, I'll, I'll bless you with it, okay? God bless you. Um, Kelvin Wakatama says, man of God, what's your take on dating a woman that has had sex in almost every relationship before you, and you tell her you want to wait, but it seems see, the age will be too much for her. This is a woman now that is said to be having sex in every relationship that she had, and the age is too much. There is no any man who can fully quench the age of sex if a woman has got into that gear. So that woman, if it is, in countries like America and other developed countries, she really needs to get help. Uh, it's an addiction. Sex can become an addiction. That's why I always teach you and say, be careful when it comes to sex. It can become an addiction. So one has to work herself so hard. Because the question is, they are going to marry a cultivator. If you can't control yourself and wait, what if the cultivator goes to America to take some money or a certain project? Will you be able to wait? And he comes back. Do you hear what I'm trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is, even if you're in a relationship, I want you to try and see the signs of times. And you as my daughter, if you've gone into that zone where it has become an addiction, fight it. Come to the prayer line. Fight it. Because if you can't wait, it means that cultivator that you are looking for, when he's gone for work, it means you will not be able to wait. That's the incident where somebody sleeps with the, with the garden boy or someone who is present at that moment, and then it affects you. Learn to control yourself. Learn to wait. It is possible to wait. Women can train themselves to wait. Okay? How do you wait? It's about what you are doing, what you are watching. Very key. You can't say, I'm going to wait on sex, yet you are watching, watching pornography. You can't. You can't balance because what you are watching is motivating you to have it. So you have to monitor what you watch. You have to monitor what you read. But if you are becoming a woman who the age is more than the man, because according to the creation, the man has to have a more age of sex than the woman. That's how it is. So be careful. Uh, fight that age and make sure that you don't go uh, like that into any relationship and make a highlight to the man that uh, I want it more than you. And the moment any man feels defeated on that, it's, it will affect his ego and you will not see much more. So fight it and wait. Okay? Remember also, sex is the highest sore tire agent. When you sleep with somebody, there's a sore tire. Some of the bad luck that you are fighting right now, was not born, you're not born with it. But the moment there was that courtship and that agreement, it was a sore tire. And it was a transfer of spirit from him to you and from here to him. He who sleeps with the hallowed becomes one with the hallowed. My Bible says so. So be careful when it comes to sex, okay? God bless you. Um, Lisa Matose, how, how long must we date before we get ma married? Long enough to understand each other. If you are understanding rate is high, and you can understand the person quickly. There's no need to wait long. But if you know, if you want to see his vision, understand his family, take note of this. What, what makes it to be long is the issue of family. When you get married, listen to me. When you get into a relationship, the man that you marry is not only the one that pays the bride, including the brothers, this, the cousins, the uncles. So study them, know them, and they must receive you. That's when the wisdom plays, how you relate with everyone. And it brings that courtship and love together, okay? Bongi, thank you, Prophet. How do you notice so that your woman is an incubator? Signs of times. When you say a vision and she's a vision shooter, run away. You need a woman who listens to you and tries to motivate whatever you have. 
She must listen to you and see how she can increase whatever you have. That's the person to bring close. If they are ever busy for your vision, if they are ever busy for whatever you're planning, you are in a wrong relationship. You need an incubator. Run away if they're not listening to you. Run away if they're not working hard. They're made like that to incubate. Okay? Bongi, I think I've answered you. Yuda, good evening, Dad. Can you also bring us Forex trading training in Cape Town? Thank you, Dad. This Forex trading that I have launched, I forgot to speak about it. Thank you for reminding me, Yuda. It's an opportunity over your project, and you have got a young man who's brilliant with the name Armstrong. He has done very well for himself through Forex trading. It's something that I've done myself before, and I've brought it to the UI, and it's going to be happening. It, it has started, actually, and others are already learning, and they're trading, and they're making something for their own lives. If you are not in Zimbabwe, if you're not in Zimbabwe, it will be done online. But I would encourage you to come and you have your five-day first beginners and another five-day for experts. And I think in 10 days, in 10 days, you'll be good enough. Trust me. In 10 days, you'll be good, good enough. There are books that they printed. There are books that they have done, and they are moving on very well. So, yeah, you can learn in 10 days. Then you can go back to your country if you can be here physically as well. Right. Um, as we see, Carol. Uh, Dad, what is the right age of getting married when you have understood life? That's very key. Getting married at 16, 17, 18, 19 is a bit dangerous because your choices are limited according to imagination. What you may think that is great may not be great tomorrow. Remember, what makes us to submit it is the greatness of that person. So you may be in love because it's school love. But in reality, that's not your greatest incubator. You must always, if you're a woman, get married to somebody who is above you. Above you. That is very key. You must be in a relationship and get married to somebody who is above you. It will make you submit easily, and the man will see your submission, and your marriage will last long. Okay? So getting married, early marriages are dangerous in the sense that you are following a feeling, not a reality. Remember I said a woman in love may not see a lot of things. So the feeling may misguide you. So relax, understand life, create your own imagination, then get married with somebody who is above you, okay? Stanford, is it good to do business together with your girlfriend? No. It's not good. I don't encourage it. Don't do business with your relative. Don't do business with your girlfriend. It is always nice to create some space and meet, space and meet, so that you can have things to talk about. In most times, familiarization will, will always shoot down respect. So I will not encourage that one. My question is, okay, that's Daisley. DLC, DLC, DLC. My question is, what will happen when a girl constantly attracts men who, who are not cultivators? It is because we are spending time at wrong places. When you spend your time is where you attract. If you want to be married with a windy or a combi driver, always sit in front seat. The combi driver will have courage to, to propose you. Not that they are bad, but I'm just giving as an example. If you want to be married with a builder, go where they're constructing. The builder will be attracted. If you want to be married by a pilot, go to the pilot school. You will see pilot, pilot you will see a pilot. And they, because a man will attract whoever is close by. You see what I'm trying to say? So where you spend your time also determines who is proposes you. That's why it's very important that sometimes bath, going to places where there are hustlers, going to places where people are thinkers, where people are working hard. The environment that you go will create whatever comes to you. Okay? Kudzai Muchkanzo, Prophet, what can you do if, you, if the girl you love the most suddenly says, can't marry you and doesn't want to wed? She has found another person. No woman can say such if the wedding is coming. It means, number one, she has identified that you are less. Number two, it also means she has found somebody. And trust me, if any woman has created such doubt before marriage, don't marry her. You are only going for your distraction. Go for that one which can submit. That is very key. Because remember, we live our larger life in marriage and when you are single. Okay? 
Right. Um, coming interesting. Um, Sharon says, is it wise to propose to a man or it's only men that should propose? For respect purpose, position yourself, give a sign, but don't propose. Make him propose. That's my wisdom to you. Make him say it. But if you say it, you've lost it a bit, I tell you. Create an opportunity for him to say it, but not you saying it. That's the best of it all. Emilda, even Dad, I want to ask, is the age different matters in a marriage or a relationship? Is there any age difference that is not good in any relationship? It is always best to look at maturity and issue of growth. People are created in different texture, if, if I may use the word texture. Um, any man would not want to marry somebody who then look older later on. So you should always look for somebody who is a bit older than you, who is a man, so that when you are getting old, you are still young in his eyes. Very important. But most people are attracted by now, and they go for what looks good now. They don't look at tomorrow. It is very vital that you look at tomorrow before you say, I do. Okay? Obed didn't do it. My girlfriend is six years older than me. What, what problems can rise from there? First of all, will she submit enough? When she starts to bulldoze you as a man, will you like it? Will it become part of your thoughts? And will you always be there? That is a very key thing to look into. Because what you look at now does not matter. What we want to look at is tomorrow. Can you be together today, tomorrow, and the years to come? That's why all the time it must be a good age difference and the men must be older. But sometimes, some men are more mature. It, you know, it, it depends with the type of men. Some men are more mature that they can actually just somebody who's 10 years older than them and they are also older than them in terms of maturity. So it depends with the type of men. Um, Lady, can I, can, I need to ask a question. What do you do when you see that your daughter is failing in love with the wrong guy? Position a better guy. The only substitution of any love is love. If your daughter is getting into a relationship and the, you don't like the guy and you see the guy is wrong, if you go after your daughter, you lose your daughter. The only means that you should do is to position a better one that you think is a better one so that the girl can also be confused a bit. In any other case, if you say to your, girl, your daughter, don't go for this guy, don't go for this guy, the truth of the fact is she'll go for the guy behind your back. Love confuses these girls. I'm telling you, they get so confused. They don't know who to date. They don't know who to love. They don't know how to love. So by so doing, when she's kissed, I tell you she's going to be kissed away from your life. These guys, they misread kisses and everything. And they should be kissed away from your life. So the best way is to then position somebody who is better than him so that he, she can choose that one which we prefer. But just to speak to him and say, leave this boy. Mm -mm, mama, father, you will lose your daughter. So be careful. I don't know if I've rounded up enough or I can give another two minutes um, to, 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 to look into things. So I'll give it two minutes. My team is saying other two minutes, other five minutes. I think there are three, four, five other questions which I knew. So I'll give also a short break. Then I'll come and give the last segment. I want to pray for you as well, for your marital life. I want this 2020 to become your year where you find a correct partner, and I want to take down marriages for those that are looking for marriages and weddings for those that are looking for weddings, and let this 2020 be yours in terms of relations. So I'll come for the last segment. God bless you. <music>
last segment, and I want to thank you for watching us live. Thank you for joining us. The questions kept on coming. Thousands and thousands of questions are on my table right now. And um, what I would do is I'll, every day I'll answer four or five questions and post them on, on, the, on the Facebook so that um, I'll be able to answer everyone. Because there are a lot of questions. Just pick two or three right now and um, uh, close down this, this segment. Um, it's, it's exactly um, 12 minutes past 11 Zimbabwean time. And thank you for joining us live today. But Ms. Munyoro, um, how best do I register for the Forex trading class? There are numbers which are on the poster, okay? There are numbers which are on the poster, which was placed on that Facebook page. Go on those numbers, text, and then we, we interact with you, and I'll help you join it, okay? And be part of it. Some interesting things coming out to, uh, from, from home there. Um, surprisingly, surprisingly, some men with power are also watching. Um, and and, and the, the, this one was placed in red because the question came several times. Um, the question was from Love Moma Zuru. Say, thank you, Father, for the UAE program. It is not uh, debatable that your heart these days has been stolen with UAE. What really have these UAEs done to attract your attention that we men with power, we can copy to reclaim our position? I'm feeling jealousy of these yois, men with power for life. That's what he says. Um, it, it, it is in the creation or it is in the nature of every man of God that he goes where he is appreciated the most. For example, today, Mr. Lafo Mazzoli, you came to the hotel. You were the only man with power who was there, but everyone around me was a youth. So immediately, the demand and the questions of the youth are always at my face because they are always close by. There are only few men with power who are really attending to my call after Sunday. That's the first thing. Few, very few men with power who are attending to my call after Sunday. Most of you they are only governed and they are controlled and managed by sun, and then you disappear. Let me give you a simple example of a Harari satellite. There are a lot of men, but they did not even attend on Thursday. But if you look how many youth and what they are doing, so by so doing, I need to attend with them as well. I hope you understand what I'm trying to express. But all the same, I want to thank you for joining me live today, and it's now about quarter past 11. Um, I want to pray for you. I want to bless you. I want you to, I want, I, I, wherever you're watching me live from, I want you to raise your hands. I want you to hear my word. I declare a perfect relationship. I declare perfect love for you. I declare perfect wisdom in whoever you are serving under. I declare perfect peace in your life. This 2020, I bless you. I, I bless your relations. I speak marriage to you. I speak a good wedding, a perfect wedding to you. I speak love to flow in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you be blessed. May you be increased. May you reach the highest level of your life. May your life go to the highest level which you have never been. You are a yoy. I'm meeting you on Friday. May God provide for you so that we can enjoy together. We can dance together. We can watch together. I bless you. May your Friday be perfect. I bless you. May you go to that cell group with peace and love and lift every area that you are in. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Until we meet again, God bless you.